So you watched the Bridgestone S21 video and you came away impressed, as did I when I actually rode the tires on the track in Abu Dhabi at the Yas Marina circuit. A fantastic DOT tire for those of you on sport bikes. But perhaps you've still got questions. You've heard all the acronyms, have an idea of what those technologies mean, but how will they impact your own life and ride? So let's take a closer look at some of those acronyms and break down what exactly they mean. MSB or Mono Spiral Belt. As you may have determined, the belt is one piece and it spirals around the carcass of the tire. Yep, it means just that. There is one continuous single strand wrapped around the entire circumference of the tire. What that one belt does is that it eliminates overlapping of belts, seams, and joints. That makes the tire lighter, which makes it handle better by steering quicker with less rider input. Now most tires have a multi-cross belt construction which adds bulk, which adds weight, which in turn can lead to a sluggish feel at the controls. Another feature of the MSB is that it offers more stability since it minimizes heat generation inside the tire, and it also provides high bump absorption. And isn't that what you expect out of the tires on your sport bike, with solid straight line stability and bump absorption. HTSPC, or High Tensile Super Penetrated Cord. Huh? What? Just know that Bridgestone is the first motorcycle tire manufacturer to utilize a multi-filament rubber insulated steel belt in its radial motorcycle tires. So where the competition uses steel too, Bridgestone actually wraps the belts with rubber as to better handle the heat generated during rotation. And what does that mean to you? Remember that sport bikes are very capable machines and at speed, centrifugal force wants to misshape the tire and move it away from the axles which becomes easier as the tire gets hot. So by using a HTSPC, the S21s are more flexible, provide more stability without a reduction in bump absorption, all while minimizing the generation of heat throughout the carcass. Here, 3LC stands for three layer compound, and it is just that. Used in the front tire, it simply means that the center of the tire is made of one compound, while the edge compound is softer. Easy, right? Why does this matter to you? Because life is a trade-off, a compromise if you will. And on a sport bike, you want grip that inspires confidence, but you also don't want to be swapping out tires every thousand miles either. So Bridgestone has created a tire that can maximize both. By using a harder center compound on the front tire, you get very linear handling and better wear characteristics. And by using a softer compound on the edges, you get the security of a high rate of grip and a solid contact feeling. 5LC compound. Take what you just learned about 3LC and just make it a 5. Same premise, same technology. The edges are still a soft compound, but the center now goes to hard. Nestled in between the edges and the centers, in the shoulders, will be a medium compound. And the mentality is the same as the front. Lots of grip on the edges and a solid contact feeling at those deeper lean angles. The shoulders will be a medium compound offering up major amounts of traction, transferring engine power to the road, and the center will be hard offering up a longer life and a stable ride. RC Polymer this is a multifaceted technology as it improves numerous aspects of the tire. It optimizes the distribution of silica within the rubber compound, improving tread flexibility, thus allowing greater contact with the road surface in both hot and cold conditions. Now, this reduction in molecular friction also improves rolling resistance, thus improving fuel economy. And add to that improvement in wear resistance, silica is effective for improving wet weather performance. The potential of multiple compounds is drastically increased by improving the affinity between them. Silica Rich EX. Carbon black is a sooty byproduct of the burning of oil. Improves the wear rate of tires as it is quite abrasion resistant. Trouble is that it's pretty lousy when it comes to rolling resistance, increasing fuel consumption. So tire engineers figured out that silica which is the basic component in beach sand, drastically lowered rolling resistance, yet increased grip. So the downside, though, was durability. The perfect balance of ingredients is the key here. For dry condition racing tire, expecting a short life, not a ton of silica in the compound. And for a wet condition street tire, just add more silica, right? So with Silica Rich EX, Bridgestone has been able to greatly improve grip in both wet and cold conditions, providing you with superb handling even at the beginning of a ride and making that grip more consistent and longer lasting. Nano Pro Tech, one of the fundamental technologies of Bridgestone. What Bridgestone has done is to look at the desired parameters and required features of a certain tire, in this case, a DOT approved street legal sport bike tire, and then control the material microstructure through structural design at the absolute molecular level. 
Now, remember, Bridgestone makes all sorts of tires, and being able to manipulate the ingredients to customize the product towards its intended purpose? Well, that is Nano Pro Tech. Ultimate Eye. This is Bridgestone's indoor testing facility. Think of it as a massive indoor rolling tire dyno. Now this new machine can simulate real-life riding conditions, visualizing the contact patch behavior of a tire under multiple conditions and speeds, analyzing the contact patch pressure, optimizing compound, tread design, tire construction, and profile. It is capable of duplicating scenarios up to 60 degrees of lean angle and 249 miles per hour. There you have it, a technical breakdown of what exactly all those acronyms from Bridgestone mean. For sure, the S21 is an amazing tire with tons of technology in it. Superb grip, incredibly stable, very composed and confidence inspiring, and all with better wet weather performance and longer life. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. So if you're riding a sport bike and are in the market for a new set of tires, take a good look at the new Battleaxe S21 Hypersport tires from Bridgestone. Thanks for watching.